Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Matea and today I'm gonna show you something that I'm not really comfortable with talking, especially not to people that know me. But um, everybody knows I'm a weirdo, so if you know me in real life, are you really surprised? I don't think you are. So uh, in today's video, I will be giving you a tour of my altar. Yes, an altar. I am that weirdo that has altar and that does witchy things and that um, practice magic, if you want to call it like that. Uh, I don't know how to call it. Uh, I don't know yet what I truly am doing. But I want to show you the journey that I'm on, my spiritual journey, let's say it. And um, yeah, I'm quite proud of my altar and I will show you what I have on, why I have it and how I do things. So if you are a beginner witch or if you want to set up your own altar, you can maybe take inspiration from me. Because uh, none of this stuff is like expensive, uh, fancy stuff that I know a lot of people, especially like on YouTube, on Instagram, on media, have. Um, it's quite trendy at the moment to be a witch or to practice magic or to have like crystals and tarot cards and all that. Uh, so there are a lot and a lot of misconceptions that you have to have high quality stuff that are extremely expensive, uh, you have to have all the ingredients that are really expensive now because whenever something is in and popular of course marketing is gonna take it and make it expensive so that's not what I'm about, I don't have a lot of money and I just make do of what I have. So I will show you a budget-friendly way to set up an altar and to use stuff. Because in my opinion, what matters the most is what it means to you. So everything you use, it can be like plastic, as long as it matters to you and has some kind of meaning, basically, to you. So, yeah. Let's get started. Just to say uh, up front, I'm not a Wiccan, uh, nor will I ever be one. I just have a different kind of understanding on everything and at the moment how I would describe it, my spirituality is basically I believe in energy and sending energy out to the world and getting that energy back and uh, manifesting things through that. You can make out of that <laughs> whatever you want, uh, so keep that in mind. I do not follow any rules, I just do whatever feels right for me. Like why should we have stupid rules about everything? If it feels right and you're not a psycho, then you should follow your feelings and follow your guts and guts, you have only one gut uh, so I'm gonna stop rambling now and uh, show you my altar hopefully um, if you are one of those people who knows me or are watching me and you know and you known me before and are watching this to make fun of me um, you do you boo boo and I'm gonna do me so yeah I'm gonna show you my altar now okay so this is the whole look on my altar um, maybe it's a bit crowded maybe it's not I don't know I just like it the way it is so and I have this little part here as well I drew that that's uh, my art so let's start from here I had this uh, cheap little uh, skull just because I really love the skulls and um, 
let's ignore this part here yeah and then let's not show that uh, just because I love squalls and I think it gives the right feel to my altar it is like a piggy bank skull uh, but like I said um, I have it just for a feeling of it not for anything func functional then over here uh, I keep so whenever I do like a ritual or a spell, I usually burn it on a paper. I write what I want on a paper and then I burn it. Um, and I keep everything that's left here. As well I have some bay leaves. No, that's not bay leaves. I'm not sure how do you call them. Uh, and I have some uh, Himalayan salt there that I use to cast a circle. And I keep everything in this crystal little box. Then over here I have another small little skull with dry flowers. I really love dry flowers because I feel like they are frozen in time and I love the way they look. Uh, this here is my future book of shadows. I haven't started it yet. I'm already thinking of getting more papers because I like the way it looks full but I still haven't started it yet. Um, I'm gonna do that one day and behind there is a picture that my fa father drew for me um, when we were in a really really rough, rough time. Um, I got it for my birthday and uh, Lilium is one of my favorite flower flowers. Lilium and roses are my favorite flowers so um, that's why I keep it here because it has such strong meaning for me. Then over here I have my first Ouija board. Um, this is the prime example of eBay what you see and what you get. Uh, I thought it would be bigger, like big as the picture behind it, but it's small. And it said it would be wood, but it's not really wood. But I don't mind. I guess if you're gonna use Ouija board, it doesn't really matter what kind of material it is. And I am planning of on getting a real one, like real handcrafted wooded one. So this one will do until I get that one. That one is really expensive. It's like two hundred dollars, and this one was twenty. So I'm not that mad about it. And this is the how do you call it? Plache? Plala? Plache? Pla? I don't know. Um, that you use it on and I still never use my Ouija board. You can see me using my Ouija board for the first time in my next video that will be uh, next Friday so excited about that. Then the picture behind is also a picture wait uh, my father bought it for me uh, they were shopping when I was a teenager somewhere. I have no idea where they bought it. He saw it and he thought of me and he thinks it's so me and he's so right so I like the way it looks here so I keep it here. Then we're going to the center of uh, my... oh this one goes here. Uh, then we go to the center uh, of my altar. I always have five candles for representing the um, the elements uh, and fifth is the spirit so it's like fire, water, uh, earth, air and spirit basically and the spirit is this big grey one I use grey one for spirit because it's quite neutral and then the small ones I just use what I have usually like I said when I cast a circle I would also cast a circle with some Himalayan salt and when the ritual or, or spell is finished, I just break the circle, say thank you, and that's basically it. Turn off the candles. Over here, I have my small crystal ball. Um, because the big ones are expensive, I don't use it for anything. I never did. Uh, it's quite new addition to my altar, so I'm not sure... I'm not really sure how anyone uses it. I never really um, searched for that, so I never really researched that. 
so maybe I will in future for now I just love the way it looks it gives that witchy vibe that I like and then also I have my first ever tarot cards that are so me they are so freaking beautiful I love them I have no idea how to do tarot I do not really believe in tarot but I love the way it looks it is again that witchy feel that I love so I just keep it here for the atmosphere and then behind I have this uh, bigger vase that I made. I'm gonna be selling these or similar to these on my Etsy when I start making them so keep an eye for that if you're interested. Then I have a raven feather over here, uh, first rose that my boyfriend got for me, the first ever rose he got for me and then some flowers. And the last thing I have is this small, small little tray. I'm sorry if I'm out of breath. I have no idea why I'm out of breath. <sighs> anyway, um, I keep my crystals here. This is the newest one. I really like that it's pyramid. So I have my crystals here and then the um, ro rose leaves. I don't know. How do you say? My brain is dead, I swear to God. You know what that is. It smells really nice. I really like the way it looks. So I keep it here. And then here I have three more candles. And then behind I have my sage. To cleanse everything. So basically that is it. This is my altar. And then this part here I just have some ivy. Some also um, old spells and circles I cast. I just like the way it looks in this small little bottle. I have my rings here, my jewelry, another vase and this thing here. It doesn't have any really meaning to it. So yeah, again, um, hopefully this won't be uh, something that I will get judged on or look down upon. Uh, I just find it interesting and fun. And yeah, like I said, you do you and I'ma do me. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to become a small little part of my small... what? Subscribe to become a part of my small little group of friends. It would make me so happy. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. I love you so, so much. And I'll see you when I see you.